Gigi. And my name is Pierre. And we are co-leaders of Gospel Choir. Um, we're so thankful that all of you guys are here today. Um, yeah, we are, the choir is pumped. Um, we are pumped to share um, our music with you tonight. The theme of this concert, well, the theme of our year has been the Psalms. Um, and something super special about this concert is that we have a lot of original music um, from students in the choir and others um, that we are very excited to share with you. Um, in the choir, we always say that the gospel choir is not just a choir, but it's a worship, worship experience, exactly. And we invite you today to do just that. We invite you to adopt a posture of worship that is genuine to your worship style. We encourage you to clap along if you want to start jumping in your place, if you want to start running down the aisles. I mean, feel free to worship the way that you would like. Um, and yeah, one thing um, we would really like for you guys to engage is, is call and response. There will be a lot of call and response. There will be a lot of songs that you can pick up on really quickly. And so we encourage you to um, sing along with us. Um, we're here to worship together, and this is a worship experience. Please treat it as a worship experience. Get up, clap. So, yeah, we just invite you to worship with us. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity we have to worship your name. We thank you for the opportunity to come and worship um, you in different ways and in different words. We thank you, Lord, that um, you've given us these songs to sing. And um, we pray today that you put these songs as new songs on our lips and our tongues as we worship you and bless your name. We ask that you may be honored and glorified today in our worship, in our music, and all that we do today. We just ask that you may reign and that you may take your rightful place today, Lord. We love you, and um, we are very excited to worship you today. In your precious name we pray, amen.
Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord one more time. You can't hear such praise and now I want to give him thanks. It's a blessing to be here with these amazing people in this amazing college. My name is David Tomosime. I'm one of the worship people at Res Life Church here in Granville. Um, I'm originally from Uganda, so the song they're about to sing comes from a point in my life. You won't believe this, but I was born mute. I could only stutter. And I, I grew up in church, so I wanted to sing praises like other people did, just that mine would come out like uh, 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 all the time. So what I did was I occupied myself with music. I could play the keyboard, and I remember on my 14th birthday, I woke up, and my mom was standing over my bed, and then she says, you've been talking in your sleep. And I wanted to make sure that when you woke up, you were still talking like you were talking in your sleep. And since then, it's been tough to stop me from talking. So, <laughs> so as they share, so as they sing this song, it was a collection of my diary, of the things that I would write about God. And almost every line you will see was something that I desired to say to God, but I only could play it. So be blessed by it. Praise be to God. Put your hands together, everybody. Bless the Lord, whose praises shall fill my mouth. Magnify His name forever, Lord, you reign. And I will bless the Lord, whose praises shall fill my mouth. And magnify His name forever, Lord, you reign. Praise the Lord, declaring His mighty work. Praise His holy name, forever, Lord, You reign. Sing, I'm persuaded. Oh, God, come throughout. Humanity 
the task of walking through the Psalms and pulling out worship and, and this song that I wrote a few years ago is called Sweet Sound. Um, and I want to give us the what and the why. Psalm 98 starts, verse 1, O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, and then it drops down in verse 4 and says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm with trumpets, sound of cornet, make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Also says, let the sea roar and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Even let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together. That's the what. Here's the why. For he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. The Lord had made known his salvation. His righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. And he remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. We have the what and the why. We're just not making a noise. We have a reason. He has done marvelous things. He saved us. He's been merciful to us. His right hand and his right arm has gotten him the victory. Can we make a joyful sound unto the noise, unto the Lord tonight? We give you glory. Hallelujah to his great name.
for your majesty in this place. Come on, lift your hands just for a moment. That's what we came for, right? Thank you, Lord, for your glory.
23 says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. I looked up the definition of want um, and one of the ones that stood out is to have a lack or deficiency of something. Again, to have a lack or deficiency of something. But then when we look at Psalm 23, it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. Meaning that none of us in this room have a lack or deficiency of anything. So in this moment, if you feel like you're lacking something, if you feel like something is deficient, can we just lift our hands to receive what God has for us? Because he's fulfilling all of our wants. Every single person in this room, that's just how mass he is. That's just how big he is, that he's fulfilling every want in this room. So God, we receive you today. We receive who you are. Our eyes are on you. Our hearts are on you. And we receive you.
There we go. Okay. Hi, guys. Can we just give a clap offering to God for all that we've experienced so far tonight? <laughs> we're so thankful to be here worshiping with all of you tonight, and we're going to be entering a new um, section of the evening. Um, this next part is going to be a little bit more mellow, a little bit more quiet, um, but we want to use it as an invitation um, for you guys to spend some more time in reflection, um, more time in worship, more time in prayer. And you can use whatever posture that looks like to you. Um, but we're going to be going through and reading some psalms. This year we've been focusing on psalms for the entirety of our gospel choir um, semesters. And we're just, we're calling this a journey through the psalms. Um, so we'll be taking turns reading some scripture and um, singing some songs that are inspired by the verses that we're reading um, and we just invite you to participate in whatever way you feel the most comfortable with. So, Our first reading will be coming from Psalm 13, which says, How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep in death, and my enemy will say, I have overcome him, and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise, for he has been good to me. trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you 
and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye. For he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Thank you. 
Psalm 73. Yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And afterward, you will take me into glory. Who am I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. together today to worship you and only you and to focus our hearts on what you have to say to us. I pray that um, as we go along and we continue with this um, night of worship that you help us to um, not only focus our minds on what you have to say to us but what you have for us to bring to other people and to continue the work that you've done here and to bring that into our day-to-day -day lives. Um, I may pray that you continue to bless our time here together. And in your name, amen.
Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Emmanuel, and we've been talking about the Psalms, and we've been talking. We we mentioned at the start that a couple of us in the choir wrote original songs, and one of them is the song I had the privilege to write with my friend um, Baraka. He doesn't go to Calvin, and he's a senior, and um, this is exam period, so he couldn't make it here. However, we have Noro who will be singing his parts, and she also is on the track and did the backing vocals on that too. And um, uh, before I talk about what this song means to me, music for me and making music for me is a collaborative art. And I could name a lot of people in this choir and out there, like Sam, who's on keys. Um, Scotty, Emmanuel, they all like pitched in in one way or the other, listening to my mixes or Sam is actually just the musical genius behind the song. And um, Sam really needs a, he really needs a hand. Everyone give him a hand. Uh, he, he's really done a lot. Um, even making the arrangement for this live, we did it together. And it's a collaborative art, like bringing everyone together to praise God and worship God. Um, this song for me, I wrote it last summer when I was going through a tough time. Um, there was a lot going on. I couldn't, you know, I'm adulting and there's just so many decisions I have to make. And I feel like a lot of people can hear, can like really relate to that. It's like, you gotta, you know, figure out how you're gonna pay your fees and you gotta figure out if you're gonna go home or not. Or you gotta figure out, you know, you gotta get good grades. There's just so many things that's going on and I'm like, I feel like I'm drowning, but um, the word that came to me was steady, and that's the name of the song. Um, Psalm 18 verse 2 says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God and my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and the high tower. You know, like, he, in that moment, this word for me really just meant you might feel like you're drowning, but you have a firm foundation. You know, you're steady because you got God underneath you. Got, he's got your back. And throughout this song, I really hope that that message can be passed across. That, you know, God's always got your back. He's your firm foundation. And when you feel like shaky, just remember that, you know, God's got your back. All right. Before we sing, though, I want you guys all to stand. I'm going to teach you two things. I'm going to teach you two things. So... There's a part in this song that goes choo 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 choo. Can you guys do that with me? One, two, three, go. One more time. Choo 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 choo. All right, you get the hang of it. You get the hang of it. We'll do it with you. The second part I'm going to teach you is the chorus. Can you play just the chorus? So it goes, you they keep me steady when he goes, I am ready. Steady, 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 steady. You keep me steady when he calls, I am ready. Steady, steady. All right, worship with us. All right, Scotty, hit it.
Emma, and like Emmanuel said, um, a couple of us from the Gospel Choir wrote some original songs to perform today, so today we're going to be performing my Psalm 51. Um, unlike Emmanuel's that's recorded, this started out as a voice memo in my phone from who knows how long ago, and we're pulling it out to experience it live, so I'm so glad you guys could be here with us to do that. Um, as the title implies, the song comes from Psalm 51. Um, which is the psalm that David writes after he commits adultery with Bathsheba and kind of recognizes the depth of his sin. So this song is very, very contemplative, very reflective, very honest about our sin and our brokenness, but also very honest about God's cleansing power. So I invite you to reflect on that with us as we sing. Sinful from birth 
From the time my mother conceived I know my transgressions, my sins always before me Against you only have I sinned, God I've done what you say is wrong You're justified in your judgment, your verdict of me Please hide your face from my sins, O oh God, my God, my Savior. Cause my sacrifice is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. Do not cast me from your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from me. Deliver me from my guilt, Lord. And raise up the bones you've crushed these bones According to your unfailing love Have mercy on me
going along with this theme of people who have um, written songs, um, we got the privilege to uh, get the opportunity to write a song for all of us. And it's just been a great opportunity and it's been really cool seeing the song come together and I'm really excited for us to show it all to you guys. <laughs> Um, psalm 121 is actually a psalm of ascent, so they would sing this on their way to the temple. Um, and it starts kind of like in grief, but looking forward to the hope that comes from the Lord. And then there's a section in the song that changes from an interaction vertically to a de declaration over those around us. That we can sing over each other. Um, anyway, we think it's cool. <laughs> Let's pray to the Lord together. I am broken in despair, no light in this valley, placing all my trust in a God that I cannot see until your light shines through. Streaming from above, these bones ache my soul. Breaks. So I will lift my eyes unto the hills. Raised to new heights, drawn closer to his throne. I'll lift up my voice with a shout that reaches mountains. My soul will save my chains break. I will lift my
Oh, my Lord. Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart will not fear. The war may rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire of his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, and in the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me on a high rock. A lot of us wait to see the beauty of the Lord in, you know, we waiting to see the fiery eyes, the woolly hair, the, the, the brass. And that's going to be, be, that's going to be, oh, oh, it's going to be beautiful beyond description. But while we're here, we get to see the beauty of his grace, his unmerited favor. We get to see the beauty of his mercy, that he delights to show mercy, that when we deserve what we have fallen into, he still decides to snatch us out of it. We see the beauty in when, when we need deliverance. He's there. He shows up for us. And we can't deserve, we can't earn that. So every time God shows up for me, I see that beauty. I see the beauty. And so that's the one thing I'm looking forward to, just to know that God is with me and that he's always going to stand up for me. And he's going to cover me. He's going to go before me. He's going to cover behind me. So that's the one thing that I'm desiring, to see his beauty. And this song is real hype. He's that beautiful. So it's we up. Yeah, one thing that I desire, one thing that I desire. The secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me, he shall set oh, me on the rock. One thing, and that will I see that I may dwell in the house of the Lord.
may take your seats for a little bit. Want to take some time to say thank you for coming out tonight. We're so grateful that you took the time on your busy Sunday afternoon. Aren't we grateful that our congregation came? Thank you so much. Thank you, Melena. I got a few acknowledgments that I want to share. And to everyone who's watching online, thank you, thank you, thank you. Make some noise for those who are watching online. Go ahead and type where you're watching from. I know we have some connections overseas that are checking us out as well. So we're grateful for all of you. What can we say about the Calvin University Gospel Choir? I think we should make some noise. We are so grateful. So grateful for you. To our music director, Mrs. Lisa Professor, Mama Lisa Sung. All of our wonderful student musicians, let's give it up for them. To my friend Yuriana back here on the percussion. Our brass section who was playing earlier, we're so grateful for all of you. All of our friends in the Department of, Department of Visual Performing Arts, thank you for this space, this time that we get to share the message of gospel music. And what is that message? Hope. We share the message of hope, and we pray that you receive some hope today as we dove deep into the Psalms. And if there's a witness in the house, can I hear an amen? Yeah. Amen, amen. I want to shout out our special musical guest, my lovely wife, Mrs. LaShonda Shanetta Glasper. So grateful for you. <laughs> now, baby girl, Nyla is there, knocked out, sleeping. So we're grateful for you. To Shama Carter, all the way from Detroit, Michigan. Thank you, Shama. To my sister, Glenda Williams. Thank you, thank you. My friend and brother, Pastor David Tumasimi. So grateful, so grateful. To all of our seniors who are graduating, just give us a wave. Wave all of our seniors that are graduating. It's so many of you. We are going to miss you here in the gospel choir. So grateful. Any seniors out there? Seniors, seniors, seniors. Okay, don't be, what you scared for? You graduating. You better be excited. So we're grateful for all of our seniors. We'll be celebrating with you all in a couple weeks. To all of our tech crew in the back, everybody turn around and just wave. Thank you, Landon, on lights. Thank you, Carl and Nate. Thank you, Caleb, on lyrics. Thank you, Emmanuel, who's part of our steering committee as well. Thank you so much. I also want to shout out our section leaders and our sopranos, Sarah and Lauren, wave your hands. Thank you, ladies. Our bass section, Ben and Calvin. Thank you, brothers. Our tenors, Stephen and Christopher. And our altos. Our alt I'm just kidding. Holly and Lily. <laughs> It's an it's a inside joke. I always give the altos a hard time. So grateful for our section leaders. And then our student leadership team. If you all will come down, our we also known as the steering committee. These individuals help so much throughout the semester um, and to help steer this big ship. <laughs> it's a big group, as you can see. Um, we're so grateful for you all, your leadership. Thank you, Pierre, Gigi, Sarah, Lily, Lauren, Emmanuel. Malena, who's joined us for the first semester. I told her she could sing the second semester. Yep. Um, and then Claire. Where's Claire? Come on down, Claire. She recently joined us. She's leading our social media. Thank you, social media. And Emmanuel. And then by default, uh, Nisha Tiffany is our gospel choir librarian. Thank you, Nisha. She's been helping with all the printing of sheet music and lyrics and the, the screen, just so you all can worship with us. Thank you, Nisha. Appreciate you for that. And then also, um, that, am I forgetting anybody, anything? All right. There's a special thing that I do since I started here in, two, in 2016. Every spring semester, I like to give out a gospel choir leadership award. And all of these students have um, showed so much leadership in some type of capacity. But this specific student has stood out above the rest. And I've had the opportunity to collaborate with this student, um, to get ideas. And one thing for those who, who serve with me or who, who collaborate with me is I love to hear the voice of the people that I'm serving. I ask my students, what are you listening to? What do you like to hear? What do you think we should sing? 
And I like to write music with them. That song 121, got a chance to write with these students and to collaborate with Emma and her songs. Well, first of all, these songs that were written by students. <laughs> so grateful. And a lot of times my students are like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, go ahead. Let me see what you got. Let me, you, for real? Like, yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm grateful that you all even trust me. Back to this student who's getting this award. Um, this student is a great collaborator, and he uh, listens, and he's well attentive to what's taking place in the gospel choir, has a passion for gospel choir, has a passion for gospel music, very persistent, very consistent, and I want to take the time to acknowledge Samuel Fineweaver as the 2014, 14, wait, 2024, what am I talking about? 2024. <laughs> Gospel Choir Leadership Award to Samuel Fineweaver. He had no idea. As you can see, he's like, what? I, I, was, I was stuttering as I was giving an example because I didn't want to give it away, but we were preparing for this concert, and there were some last-minute things we were tweaking. The, the steering committee was, was tweaking, with, tweaking with the journey of the Psalms. And we needed somebody to play. And Sam was at home chilling, y'all. And he said, I will get on the bus and I will be there. And how soon did he get here? Like 20 minutes. And, was, and we sent him the music. He came already knowing the song. And we sent it to him like 10 minutes prior. So that just shows how dedicated he is to not only this school, but this genre. He sits at the feet of gospel music. He learns. He listens. And he's always got an opinion, too. And sometimes we got to like, okay, pull it back, Sam. Pull it back. Pull it back. <laughs> Sit down some more. But no, I, I appreciate his passion for wanting to know more. This guy and I were in my office talking about harmonies and how in most European music, European classical music, and if there's some harmonies, the harmonies do what? They kind of split. They each other, yeah. But gospel music, they are stacked harmonies. You go, uh, 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 everybody move together, everybody go up. And so I'm sitting there like, how do you know all this kind of stuff? So I love talking to him. I love dissecting his brain. And there were some things we did last semester where we also – um, put some music to songs together. So thank you, Sam. I also had Sam since he was in high school. I taught at Grand Rapids Christian High School for five years, and he was freshman. I had him since he was a freshman in high school. So outstanding leadership presented to Samuel Fineweaver for providing thoughtful guidance and inspiring excellence. Thank you for leading with honor, commitment, and integrity. Calvin University Gospel Choir, 2024. We just have a couple more things to say tonight. Well, while we're doing acknowledgments, um, we cannot miss the chance to acknowledge the people who make this choir possible, the people who help with music, picking them, practicing them, and are great supports to us. So first, we would like to thank Mrs. Da um, Lisa Song. Thank you for being the music director. Mama Lisa supports the musicians, but also oftentimes cooks for us too. And so we're very grateful for her. Thank you so much, Mama Lisa. And we're so, 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 so thankful for Professor Nate Glasper. Woo! Woo! He is an incredible teacher and mentor. Um, and friend to all of us in the choir, and um, I know he's been a huge part of my college experience, <laughs> and I'm thankful for him. <laughs> so let's give another round of applause for Professor Nelson. All right, thank you all so much. Appreciate you all so much. All right, and last but not least, I know somebody in the audience named John John is waiting for this moment. This is a tradition that has been going on for over 30 years. If you have been a part of the gospel choir from 1988, that's what our shirts say, from 1988 to 2023, if you've been a part of the gospel choir, you know the tradition. Come on up as we sing our benediction song. May his peace be with you till we meet again. Come on up. Oh, it's a lot of you. That's what I'm talking about. Represent, represent, represent.
You guys can come up here too if you want. Since choirs, come on up, come on up, come up. May his peace be with you. May his peace be with you till we meet. Would you stand with us and let's sing our benediction? May his peace be with you till we meet up. Till we reach that distant shore. Till we reach that distant shore. And we shed a tear no more. May he give you strength to endure. Till we meet May his love be with you. May his love be with you. Till we meet If you don't mind looking at your neighbor and I tell them, may his strength, may his strength be with you. Till we meet again. Till we reach that distant shore. Till we reach that distant shore. And we shed a tear no more. May he give you strength to endure. Till we meet again. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.